What's going on, everybody? <laughs> it is currently 10:24 p.m. at night. I just got back from a Bring Me the Horizon concert that I photographed. Uh, so I apologize for this video getting up later than usual, but here it is. Finally, we're going to react to the Star Wars: The Rise of Skywalker final trailer. Uh, this is the last trailer till before the movie releases. Uh, so I predict it's going to be a lot of a lot of information in here. Um, probably going to be some crazy stuff. Um, and if you, anybody knows me, I'm a gigantic Star Wars fan, a humongous cinema fan. Uh, I love movies. I love watching movies. I love analyzing movies. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and just hop on in this. It's really late, and I want to make sure I get this video on YouTube. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. Full transition. Feeling. The force brought us together. Looks like she's training more. We're not alone. Lando. We'll fight if we lead them. People keep telling me they know me. No one does. Kind of a. <laughs> I got goosebumps right now. Look at the hat. Long have I waited. I got fucking goosebumps. You're coming together. Is your undoing? What a what are you doing there, three PO? Taking one. She, was she wearing closer. Han's jacket? That's Han's jacket, I think. My friends, bro. Confronting fear. Harry's birthday today. Your destiny. I don't want it to end, man. Whoa. Dude, look at this. What the fuck? will be with you. Always. Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. They're available now? Holy shit. Alright guys, so that was my reaction to the uh, final Star Wars Rise of Skywalker trailer. Uh, a lot of cool... The movie looked... like The movie looks way better than I expected. And I don't mean that as like a, a slight towards J.J. Abrams and his D.O.P. Um... I mean that in a sense because when, when Rise of Skywalker came out, or not Rise of Skywalker, sorry, The Last Jedi came out, I was blown away by the visuals of the trailer. I, I literally quoted it on Twitter saying it was like the most, this would be the most beautiful Star Wars film, and it was. Not my favorite Star Wars film, but it was very beautiful. Um, but as a lot of people know, Ryan Johnson is not doing this project. He is out, and J.J. Abrams have stepped in back into the picture after already starting this brand new trilogy with uh, The Force Awakens. And not only did J.J. Uh, Abrams come back, but it seems like he brought a lot of the writers back from The Force Awakens as well, as well as the uh, cinematographer from Force Awakens. So it seems like he's kind of reunited with his original team to try and finish out his original idea that he originally had for this new, uh, this new trilogy in the Star Wars universe. But really some awesome stuff uh we're just gonna bring this back up for a short second that's a cool little thing i just did on accident look at that yeah there are a lot interesting shots here there were some we got a lot of visuals of ray what seems to be training some more um which is kind of reminiscent in 
episode six of Star Wars where Luke goes back to to Yoda to train some more, only to find Yoda passing away. Um, yeah, as we see, there there she is right there running and training some more. Looks like Lando is gathering what is left of the rebellion, which I'm kind of wondering where all these rebellion troops were. Because uh, if you remember from the last film, uh, they just kind of they were like there were literally like 30 of them, and the whole rebellion was like on the fucking uh, what was it on the Millennium Falcon? But this shot right here. Oh my goodness. As you can probably tell from this thing right here, I'm a gigantic Kylo Ren fan. He's probably my favorite part of the new trilogy. Um, I cosplayed as him as well. But just this shot, him coming out of the water. Oh man, and in this shot, what is this place? It doesn't even look real. And we get a throne. I have no idea what that could be. It definitely get more of a dark side kind of vibe from this. And then obviously we have the voiceover from Sidious. Uh, very cool stuff. Looks like we're scaling up for a large space battle. Like I'm talking like space battle from episode three big. Uh, if you remember that. Look at all these cruisers in the back and stuff. Oh my gosh. And then we got Chewie in the in the cockpit. And this is a cool shot. It's kind of reminiscent of like kind of the uh, the older days, you know, with like Han, Luke, Leia, and Chewie. But instead, we get the new con protagonist. And now we got the fight that we've seen clips of in a previous trailer, but now we're getting more into it. But it looks like they're going to hold off because I think that might be the final battle. And there's the destroyed Death Star. They're fixing up C-3PO. See, okay, maybe I'm wrong. I thought that that jacket that Rey was wearing would be Han's from The Force Awakens. But it seems like they all kind of have one, so probably not. And there's our new character to the far left. That mask is actually dope as hell. Digging the, the final score. Um, of the end of the trailer. You know, I kind of have the original theme. Gotta have Carrie Fisher in there. Today's her birthday. Happy birthday, Carrie. Sucks that she can't be with us anymore. Really cool to see that they brought Lando back. I definitely had tons of chills. The animal thing is weird to me, and I think it's weird because it. I think of animals in the Star Wars now, I just think of the weird scene from The Last Jedi that it wasn't necessary. Um, this is really cool. I can't tell if this is, like, if this is just... Maybe this is where they first meet on the destroyed uh, Death Star, and then they make their way out to the outside, and then that's when Kylo is like drenched wet, like he's in a music video. Um, that right there is that. I think that might be Darth Vader's helmet on like a pedestal. But look at the architecture in here. This looks like classic Star Wars, like old school Star. Wars. This, looks like, this looks like Cloud City Star Wars. Really cool to see Kylo back in the helmet again as well. I think that might be Darth Vader's helmet. Well, we're trying. We're gonna try and. That is a hundred percent Darth Vader's helmet. Hundred percent. I think. Look at this. They are riding horses. <laughs> On, on a starship. Oh my god, this movie is going to be very beautiful. And now, this is what was interesting to me. What is this? On the far left of the screen, she's looking up at it. Let's turn the volume back on for this one. I love this shot. You look really close in her eye, you can see it reflecting. I don't know, it just looks really good. And you kind of hear the the quote from Luke. I think that that previous thing might be something to do with Sidious. I don't think it's a, it's a Kylo Ren thing. Honestly, at first glance, I thought it was going to be a, uh, it looked kind of like the breathing machine from Vader, but I don't think that's, that's gonna be it. Um, yeah, nice final shot. Ray 
And then obviously with the Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker credits. Very exciting. Um, I'm really excited from someone who who, who kind of like became a much bigger Star Wars fan uh, as a kid, obviously, because I wasn't born in the 70s. Um, it's kind of it kind of makes me sad a little bit to kind of see the Marvel movies on top and kind of Star Wars in a lower pedestal, uh, and then kind of Marvel movies taking over what Star Wars used to be for me back in like me whenever whenever I was growing up. Um, but I wasn't a big I wasn't a big fan of Last Jedi, and I wasn't I didn't hate The Force Awakens, but it just was so reminiscent of The New Hope that it was hard for me to kind of immerse myself in that universe with these characters because I just couldn't stop thinking of A New Hope because of how similar it was. But Kylo Ren is definitely a big part of the the plot that I love. Um, I like I like his character. Um, the fact that he kills his own father is just so dark and deep, and he is truly going to the dark side. And I, I love it. I love I love it all. Um, but I think that is about all my thoughts so far on this trailer. I apologize if it's a little rushed. I apologize. Um, it wasn't as in-depth as people probably thought it was going to be. I'm pretty tired. It's 11 o'clock at night. Just got back from photographing the concert. But I'm very excited for this. I'm going to buy my IMAX tickets tomorrow morning. I'm going to be there literally on Thursday at 7 p.m. Gigantic Star Wars fan. I'm really excited to see how they're going to end the saga. I do have way more faith in J.J. Abrams than I do Ryan Johnson. Um, the movie looks gorgeous, and I'm really happy about that because as a photographer... Uh, the visuals of a movie and how it's shot is very important to me and the composition. So I'm very excited that the movie is looking beautiful. Um, I'm hoping they left a lot of surprises for the final film, which I'm pretty sure they did. Um, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So please leave your likes, comments, subscribe if you like. Uh, I'll do more of these and hopefully become more comfortable in the camera and talking and just kind of hanging out and just analyzing and reacting to fun movie trailers that I like because otherwise I just sit around in bed and re like just watch these trailers by myself all day literally multiple times <laughs> um yeah guys let me know in the comments what you think about the trailer are you excited for the film or do you hate the film did last Jedi ruin it for you uh, let me know down there give me any feedback as well please I'd greatly appreciate it I'm very new to this and talking to a camera and being comfortable and not stuttering um but yeah Star Wars: The Rise of the Sky Rise of Skywalker. Hope you guys are excited for it as much as I am. Thank you guys so much for watching.